So at this point, we have uh, we've learned a lot. Um, we've learned about editing and inserting data, a lot about formatting, and a lot about navigating through Excel. So we've completed our introduction to Excel, and we're ready to get into the meaty parts, the first being functions. So I want you to open up the file uh, that comes with this course called Excel Drills. And while you do that, I'll just kind of give an overview of Excel functions. Excel functions are pre-built combinations of uh, operations in Excel that really facilitate spreadsheet analysis. There are over 300 functions, which are grouped into various categories. Uh, and as you can imagine, uh, pretty much infinite possibilities of what you can do with those functions. So functions themselves are useful on their own, but they do become more powerful when they're combined together. So we're going to go over some of the most common functions and function combinations that you're likely to encounter in financial analysis. But you really could take an entire course that goes on for a long time to really uh, master all of the functions that Excel has to offer. So before moving on to these drills, let's discuss the structure of Excel functions. So we already know that every Excel function starts with an equal sign and then this function name, in this case, sum, and then the cell range uh, or arguments, which is bound in parentheses. So within these parentheses, these are arguments. Uh, those can be zero or one arguments, um, and they're separated by commas. So in this case, we only have one argument, but we could have more. And those are going to become a little clearer when we actually deal with them. But for now, just remember that these arguments are things that are inside the parentheses of a function, and they are separated by commas, and they tell Excel different things about uh, how to deal with that function. So here we have three different arguments. 